so this might be this might be a bit messy I, I've um I'm gonna do like a run of autumn um, giant steps I'm not good I'm, I'll be messing up but I, I just pulled the guitar out uh, yesterday actually and tuned it up and everything I've not touched it for something like four or five weeks maybe because I've been playing keyboard and I'm still working on keyboard so um, <clears throat> I, I'll, I'll want to mention um, I'm probably not using uh, jazz vocabulary, jazz vocabulary, uh, bebop vocabulary, as they say, because uh, I mean only only because I don't consciously I don't consciously know if I do possess any bebop vocabulary really. If I if I if I perhaps come into contact with some accidentally, what what I'm what I'm stri what I'm striving for really with my gaining gaining knowledge and learning is just a facility to be able to hear things and play them really, and that's what I'm trying to do. And when I'm playing something really challenging like Giant Steps, I've also upped the tempo to 150, so it makes makes it even worse. I've been practicing at 100 BPM. I've, I've put the tempo up to 150 just to make the video a little bit more interesting, and pro pro perhaps to highlight highlight my terrible playing, my errors, error prone, error prone playing, playing littered littered with errors. So um, I'll play the head, and then I'll try and solo, and I, um. Uh, I must admit, those first two measures where it's uh, B major 7, D7, G major 7, B flat 7, the really awkward bits. They're the most awkward bits for, for soloing over. I find I can, I can kind of hear, I can kind of fit things into the, the other measures. Like, uh, what are they? Uh, you know, the... Um, F minor seven, B flat seven, E flat major seven. That um, I find it. I can I solo over those bits easier than I can solo over. Those are the problem bits, but as as I will as, as I will demonstrate now.
So anyway, I got I got some open leaves playing down, and uh, I've I've been pra I practice open leaves like periodically. I've got I've reset it now to ten. To, I've got my Ariel Plo only playing uh, ten measures, but previously I had it set for thirty measures, and I'd just be doing that, just playing and playing at like hundred BPM, going through the changes and just trying to find melodies and find lines to fit through. But th those are the problem passages. The um, the the first 16 measures it really um it's just like the harmonic the harmonic movement is like not something that i suppose not something that you're commonly accustomed to and i suppose that's that's like a it trips you up doesn't it as a player it, trip, it trips you up as a player that bit because it's quite <laughs> By the way, I hope my guitar sounds all right. I know it's not the greatest sound. It's not the greatest sounding guitar, but it's a little 10 watt Marshall amplifier, you know. And I don't even know if the phone microphone picks that up. I'm gonna have to see how it all sounds in a minute. I like just, I have my, um, I have my low tone down to one. Or is it, I think that's what. I got my low tone all the way off and I've got my mid tone all the way on. And I got my volume all the way up and I'm on the middle, middle pickup selector. I like that one, the middle one. They really, really, um, you can really tell the difference. There's. One, two, three, four, five. There's five settings, and I really like the middle. <clears throat> I'm not too concerned about things like that. I'm more concerned about t the technical comprehension and the melodic and the harmonic comprehension, as opposed to being concerned about the tone and the aesthetics and the, the real sound of my guitar, really. I mean, it's not like I'm recording. It's not like I'm gigging. It's just, I just want it for my own knowledge base. Um... <laughs> And Giant Steps is a uh, really, really a good piece of study to focus on, and I really evaluate, evaluate on those sort of merits, evaluate on those merits, and it's it's like you know you share it, you share it with the wider uh, musical pl music playing community. I should also, I would also add that um, I, li I like the Pat Metheny Pat Trio rendition 
of Giant Steps. I do like it, but it's not the one that I go to. Uh, I like his take on it. Um, I like the way he alters the rhythm and alters the pulse of it. Um, but it's not the one that I go to. The one that I actually favor is the Gary Bart's rendition from uh, Gary Bart's A Love Supreme, which is, I think, far and away the best rendition of Giant Steps on, on record, really. Oh, I find them. Um, Generally, I find um, like tenor saxophone, old tenor saxophone records, I find them quite hard to listen to. I find there's something too sort of sharp about a tenor, about a tenor saxophone. I can really, I, I can tolerate Gary Bart's though. It's very different. The production is very different. Um, anything with a smoother, a smoother production sound that is preferable to those early, for instance, those early John Coltrane records. But but there's no there's no denying that yeah, he's a fantastic. Uh, player musician and educator who really paved the way forged forged a really uh forged a really interesting uh path in uh are these things are these things that i can say are these things that i can safely say um so that was i suppose giant steps with some with some, uh added unnecessary commentary really but uh you see what you see what i'm saying i'm, I'm, I'm working on giant steps a little piece of study i'm also going to start looking at um my favorite things on guitar which is a nice waltz number and a brilliant brilliant melodic tune that i really like and i like the john coltrane rendition of that and the john mclaughlin rendition i understand there's also a um kenny burrell version as well um which i've listened to before i think kenny burrell does green sleeves as well you can imagine these you can imagine these like bebop renditions of uh my favorite things and green sleeves like the way the way you imagine them is sometimes even better than the way that you they are uh, ultimately finally presented on on these old records but you know kenny burrell kenny burrell's great anyway so um i haven't listened to much kenny burrell for a while i'm gonna i'm gonna i better stop talking now because i'm confusing both my audience and myself hope you enjoyed the video hope you enjoyed the video see you soon